Hi, my name is Zayn and so far today we're going to be playing um, Tomb Raider 3 again. And today we're going to be playing the high security compound. I don't really see why this... Oop, oof. I don't really see why they call this place the high security compound because it's actually low security. There's only like one guard in a room. Alright, now we're here. What you want to do is you want to hop back. But if we land there, Lars in a nice position. We only got one small mid pack, but we have the amount of save crystals we had last level. Plus, we still have our Infarno artifact. They don't even bother collecting it, taking it away. Oh, right, we want to just hop over that guard and we just want to sprint and. Oh my god, I hate it when I have to do that. I just waste game time. Piss off, man. You're getting my fucking nerves. Oh, this guy will take you out. This guy will take you out. Trust me, he will kick your ass. I've done it without taking damage before. Look at just how much health I have. I've barely even started the level. I'm not even, like, barely even exited the room. And almost half my health has gone already. That is so unfair. Alright, we want to go ahead and press this button. Um, we actually want to release all the guards that are in this area. Alright, we want to release them all because I heard it's possible that one of them will be killed. Now this level is very, very hard because I got killed like three times. Alright, it is so hard and plus it's so annoying. I had to do three different... I've done like four different recordings. It's so, so annoying. It was um, one which I'd done nearly successfully, but died on my way back from the second secret. Um, the other one, the camera failed. And the third one was I ended up getting killed by spikes, and I'll wait, um, no. The third time was actually a glitch, and it's only don't want to swear, even though I do it, totally messed up the game. And the other one, I got killed by a bunch of barbed wire. It's not good. And this time, hopefully, I don't do it again. Alright, so you want to do all the sequences, sequences that I have done. See, all these episodes, all the time, apart from a couple of them, all these are in the dark. I turn off all my lights because in all the Two Meta Chronicles episodes you may notice the big bit of light that was a bit annoying. Alright, there's a small med pack. Happy Christmas Merry Christmas, Lara. <laughs> you got a small med pack for Christmas. Awkward. Alright, you wanna stay running to the right because if you actually want to survive and do a whole big massive bunch of barbed wire, you have to do that. And we're just gonna. I can't afford this. I'm gonna go get my fucked up specs. I was lucky. I thought if I just. If that bulb actually whacked me on those barbed wire, that is the point where I died. In one recording, that's the furthest I could get. In only three minutes of an episode, that's the furthest I could get. That really sucks. There was another way for you to actually get up here, down there very, very quickly. But I don't really like glitching, because by now, if we weren't doing the glitchy style, by now, um, we would be halfway throughout the level already. Alright, so you want to jump over that platform. And now what you want to do is you want to take this one. Oh, seriously, man, more damage. Screw you. Fuck off! Piss off, I don't want you. You're not in my interest. See, these guys are gonna beat your ass, man. You might as well give up. Yeah, take that, fucker. See, look, you see? Over half my health is gone already. I cannot believe this. I've gotta let it last while I can. Because I'm very. For one, I am high on safe crystals, but I'm very, very low on med packs. 
so I want to use them while I can. I don't want to spend my time taking damage. And because I remember back when I was younger, every time I took damage, I used a mel help melf. Melf? What are you talking about, Wes? Health pack. Mm, you don't want to go in there. We want to go to the right again. Right, and then we want to go to the left, and we want to go into the bathroom. Which is where we need to go. Mm. Oh, oh, please, I busted, I busted. I did over two hours of driving. Travelling, sorry. Ah. Oh, that feels good. Now, I'm not going to bother washing my hands. Look. I hope my, I hope my, I hope my cobwebs, blood and urine don't clog up the toilet. <laughs> I'd say no. Okay, you can run and jump here. Instead of you doing a puzzle to get the block there, you could just do a simple thing and just run and jump up there. Just run and a jump and a grab and a pull. Alright, I want to be careful where I was earlier because where I was, I was glitching. And I want to make sure that doesn't happen again. Good. And now when we pull this, it's going to fill up the water. And unfortunately, Lara was right, right about her she curb urine, her blood, and um, Lara, her blood, cobwebs, and urine completely clogged up the toilet. And utterly flooded the room with it. Ugh. I don't want to go in a pool from women. That's just disgusting. Okay, um, we're getting near a corner. We want to jump because that's a fire. You don't want to bump into that because that is so annoying. Alright, uh, you want to come down in here. Don't worry, there's no death traps. There is one. Barbed wire. But you can just avoid that by just running and jumping over them. See, I like the little sequences they do when it comes to stuff like this. Whoops. Okay, now you want to come over here, and I don't know why, but this just turns off the heat. Turns off those flames. You can hear the sound of some fans. You can press this button if you like over there, but it doesn't do anything. I don't really see how much good it does. Right, we want to go up here now. Oh, the big day is coming closer and closer. Oh, yeah, baby. I can't wait for Christmas. It's like every single Christmas that I have I can't sleep because I always have my TV on and then but because my thing is on auto turn off so when my eyes are facing off the TV it turns off and it's got sleeping sensor so whenever everybody in the current room is asleep the TV just turns off it's very very clever oh you want to pick up a small bed pack Little Christmas, another Christmas bonus. I'm expecting more Christmas presents as we go further into the level. I've got like, in real life, I have three already, and I'm opening. And I'm going to be a little bit cheeky, but we're allowed to do it. We do it every year. We open up only one on Christmas Eve, and the rest is tomorrow. All right. So you want to come in this room? Um, press this button, and it opens up the door to the cafeteria. Plus, the prisoners will manage to get through. Now, we want to press this door to release the guard. Hey, motherfucker! What do you want? What do you want? A cookie? What do you want? A cookie? What do you want? A cookie? Uh, prisoners! I'm in the middle of a death trap! Hey, can we get some assistance around here, please? Oh, no! Uh oh! We need another one, please! Thank you! Ha! Two against one! You ain't gonna win! I thought so. Wow, these guys are so tough. Um. He drops a small med pack. We're getting med packs often because we only had one at the beginning. Thank you and God bless you. No wonder why they're put in prison because they're hard, man. That's a. I uh, know what we want to do is we want to go in the room which I thought I got a bit stuck at in the last recording but now I know. <laughs> you just have to go across the hall and just press this button and open up some of those. And that is located back in the kitchen. So I'm going to tune the tune music. 
Um, I'm planning on starting Tomb Raider 2 after I've completed Tomb Raider 3. Now, I apologise for stopping the Tomb Raider Chronicles because I'm a little bit confused. I have no idea what I'm doing. So I'm thinking on starting Tomb Raider 2 after I've done Tomb Raider 3. Alright, now what you want to do is you want to just slide down here. You want to grab here and drop, jump the moment you go on there, on the platform. And then you want to crawl here. So yeah, as a definite, if I could get my two minute two game working again, um, and if I could find it, um, I might do that. If not, I might do two minute one. I'm not really sure which game I should do next. Um, I really should start doing the original Tomb Raider, the new Tomb Raider, because I've got it. I've got all the Tomb Raider games. So I could... See, since I've got loads of Tomb Raider games, it's hard to decide which one you actually want to do. Anyway, so you want to go down there, and the prisoner goes ahead and opens up a key in order for us to get up here. Thanks, man. I really want to give you something, but... All I could give you is one of my med packs and shotgun shells or save crystals but screw you I'm not giving you any of my save crystals or my med packs because my life depends on them and in my shotgun shells as well because I need them okay we just want to keep climbing keep it going all right now there'll be a guard up there we want to roll on a small med pack we need that you need it in case you use a med pack because it's a very very hard bit if you see a med pack it's indicating a hard part uh, there'll be a guard coming. He'll be coming from right and then on to the left. The moment he goes to the left, we're going to make a run for it. Come on, man, get your ass up there. And now we're behind him. He's not going to bother us, so we can just run up. Whoops. There you go, undetected. I always keep hitting that corner. Alright. I noticed that in the other version you could jump on the crate and jump over those lasers. But I'm not going to do that because you guys like taking a normal run, not the speed run. I'd love to do a speed run if I can. But I thought, you know what, why bother? Because you don't get any of the secrets. What you want to do here? And two... Hello? There's supposed to be two prisoners coming out. Uh, hello? Nope, just one. I want to hear the sound of the guard getting killed. What sort of sticky situation are they in? Yes, thank you very much. We need to kill him, so we can turn off the lasers in there. Shouldn't there be two? Oh no, that's in the next room. Well, we only need one anyway. Oh, we're going to open this door and now we're going to come in here. I'm going to actually want to pull, push this button to stop the lasers. Um, and down here there's a large med pack and some Uzi clips. I can't believe we only got the Uzi clips on one level and then we lost them. That seems fairly unfair. Um, also, when we collect the pistols, um, we get another, a new weapon with it. A weapon we haven't even got. A weapon we didn't even have. Alright, now we just want to go down the ladder. And undetected, we just want to go in here. And then these two prisoners. Mm, they didn't see me. What the pity. I'm just gonna come here and let the two guys come out. Put aside. No idea why they're in together. I don't really want to see what they do. I really don't want to see their business. I don't really. <coughs> Just to be honest, I don't really want to know what type of businesses they've done in there. I'm not really interested. Alright, in here, this guy drops some flares and a yellow security pass. And we need it. 
So I don't mind having a little bit of fun. It's Christmas anyway. I shouldn't really be using rude fun. But it's fun. Right? Any type of fun is better than no fun at all. Am I right or am I wrong? Hmm? Come on, someone answer up now. I've got no audience anyway. You're the audience because obviously you're the viewers. Uh, okay. I'm going to come up here. Ugh. Open the bump. Alright. We want to come down here. I'm just going to crawl in here. Gosh, it's so windy out there. And now we want to go here. We'll stop. And we want to crouch to go through here because we don't want the guard seeing us. He has a gun as well. And what you can do is you can flick a lever. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to wait for him. Right now. One thing, I want him dead. I want you dead, you motherfucker. That's it, you're in the death trap now. OMG, can't I at least just get a whack on him? Oh my god. Okay, you won't see me. Thank you very much. I think I might have a free security pass. There's only like one guard in one room. Whoa, I've got to be stable here. I've got to be very careful. No, we don't, we don't have to be careful. We could just spit away. And we want to come here. Down here. Um. Oh, Jesus. Alright, you want to go down if I remember. Oh, my God. Where's the way down again? I need a map. Hey, if only this game had a map so we know where we're going. Hmm. See, shall we? Oh man, where was I know where I'm going, I know where I'm going, I just don't know where to get to. Where to get to? Well, maybe I'm just the official two minute noob. Oh, there it is. I really wish I could do that and go down, but I don't really want to. Don't take damage. I need to save my damage for the big moment. I, mean, I don't want to spoil it for you and tell you what the big moment is. I'm just going to save it. I right, want to jump up here. I'm going to go to the right a little bit of a surprise area because once you run up, the what did that beep just do? The way, no god. I'm going to push this button to open up that satellite. And that is actually what we need to do. And now what we want to do is we want to now then press this button and get out. Don't worry, no guard's going to come, so don't worry. <whistles> For a second there, I thought there was going to be a, that room. I mean, I could just jump and do that. All right. Now I really want to say my game here because this part is hard. Oh. I'm gulping because I I really do hope I get through this. Now what you want to do is you actually want to stick to this side over here because there will be a current. And you can just let go. Die. Yeah, scream like a girl. I shouldn't really be saying that because you are a girl anyway. Should I just say you scream like a boy? Nah. That doesn't make any sense. Bacon free! Okay, we're up here now. I'm gonna light a flare because I really want you guys to see where you're going. This thing is not slopey compared to the others. You can go up top, come here, go here. You wanna hop here, go down here. Now, don't run and jump. You can do it if you want, but I have a strange feeling that you'll end up falling. And then we wanna jump here. And then you go do another one of the hoppity hops over here. And we want to climb into this, like, DNA-looking um, crawled space. I don't really see why that's in there. That should... That's just random. See, the high security comment is really, like, high techno. 
It looks really, really nice. Nice design. I like the design. I really like the design of this place. Okay, so you just want to keep sprinting if you can to speed things up. And it opens up a door next to us. Now we have to go... Even though it's right next to us, I know people are thinking, why can't you just... Why can't that the other little gate thing just open as well and just go through it and access the remaining the level? I don't know why they don't do it. Because we've actually got to run and jump and dive into this water. Into this little room over here, which is identical to the rest, but instead it's an open hole and you can swim through. Up, forwards, and a small med pack. Now we actually want to, there'll be a guard. We just want to wait for. So as long as you're not eye contacting them, it'll be easier. Have I got those passes again? No, I haven't. <clears throat> I want to keep that door open. You can close it if you want, but you have to go all the way back around the circle again in order for you to open up the door again. Alright, you want to come here? And you come in this room. Now you want to go about halfway around. You could just do a jump there to speed things up. But I like taking long ways because I'm more of a person that likes doing things um, and take their time over stuff. Not when it comes to writing, though. No. Oh no. Because when time is long, when they say like five minutes remaining and only half of it is done, I usually speed things up and make my writing messy. There's a guard over there, and he'll only get you if you run. Don't know why, because walking does the exact same noise. And the guard doesn't even know it's... I mean, if this place is high security, and there's loads of enemies and guards around there, etc. Why can't he hear the simple sound of Lara bashing her mouth? body, whatever, onto the wall. I don't really see why. I don't think I want to sleep in my room tonight. It sounds like, it's got like a really scary setting. It sounds like Halloween wind. Oh, right, we could just walk by. Don't run until you're actually out of the area. Because if you end up running, he'll know you're in. That here will do. Wee! Whoops. Oops. Yeah, I've done the, I'm done. I'm going the right way. Now, the currents don't get you in a death trap. It's the one that is a slit and open door which actually gets you. Did I pick anything? Yeah, I picked up the yellow security pass. Yeah, that's what we need. Why have I just done the wrong thing again? I forgot I locked. I forgot I didn't lock the door. If only I actually remembered where. If I only remember to shut that thing, which is actually what causes all the noise, I would have been in heaven, and I wouldn't have any noise distracting me. Alright, the guard should be on his feet. Look at his legs. The cop sits back. Well, that gun doesn't look good. Alright, now he's going to the right, we can get in. No, we just want to run over here quickly because we want to get outside. And now what this yellow security pass does is that it shuts off a fan. Right, and that is what is the main bit that causes death trap. That's why we didn't go in that little slip. But now that it's gone, now we could get in. And we want to come up here. Mm, I don't really 
see why. Yep, there's a little slope down here. Now, I want to be careful when it comes to the diving, because I heard that there's the slope is just there. I'm going to take a run and jump. Don't die, don't die! Phew! That was close. That was close, Wesley. You could have died. This area, the area that we're in towards this little bit, is a little free swim center. Now I want to go down in here. You just want to keep swimming. Keep swimming, keep swimming, keep swimming. Keep swimming! Keep swimming! Keep swimming! swimming! Alright, pick up these flares. Oh, that's not enough time now. We haven't got enough time. Look, oh, ours, the breath bar's about to flash any second and we actually want to get out into the, into the nice water quickly. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. See, if I picked up the small med pack, I'd be fucked. <laughs> Whew, just made it. Wait for the bar to go full. Mm, this should actually feel quite warm, actually, because they're in a high security. That thing is actually going to mean that the water should be nice and warm. Plus, Lara should be really, really cold because she keeps getting in and out of the water. In on these lasers, no matter what you do, you always take damage. I don't know why. You want to jump. And you want to go in there. This time I didn't take damage. Alright. Now we're going to come here. And now you want to go to the left. And um, there's a prison guy down under here already. But before we actually even go in there, what we actually want to do is we want to go over here. <clears throat> And those of you are going to be thinking, what the hell would be in there? It's just a bunch of old crates. Well, this is a reason why we're going in here. We're going to press this button. And now we want to go in here. And we actually need to go in here. Because we have our pistols in this room. Not, and we haven't got just the pistols here as well. We also have Desert Eagle clips and the Desert Eagle itself, giving us. We've currently got 30 Desert Eagle ammo. That's a very, very small handle that's on there, though. These handles are really big. Alright, now, by the moment you pick up those items, be careful because there's a bunch of green lasers and they will make a turret go off. And we just went. Bloody hell! Bloody hell, like he kills you quick. And we want to use a small mid pack. It's just me or has the turret broke down? Whoops! Huh? <laughs> he was like firing and beating the shit out of me. Alright, you could aim and kill him if you want, but I don't want to. I want to keep him. I want to get our pistols out. I really want to save my Desert Eagle ammo. It only takes two shots with the Desert Eagle to kill me. <clears throat> We've got plenty of time to use it anyway. shooting and they all didn't drop anything that's weird I like that we're kind of using up a lot of ammo now you want to come down here and get a blue security pass and some grenades by the time we come in here we want to get pistols out because there'll be a dog but they're like one of those wild ones vile and cruel in here, there's just a large bed pack. That's all we need. I 
all done in just over half an hour. That is really, really good. But we, there's more, everybody. The adventure isn't over yet. Because we want to put the police security pass in here. Wait a second, have we got another one? No, we haven't. I thought we had another artifact. I'm going to piss this out. You know, I want to push this button. And that's going to release those fans. This button. Opens up gates, but all it will do is just release another guy. We shouldn't actually have pressed that. Oh my god, that sounds fierce. Yeah, I'll kill you. You can die too! These guys are bloody useless. That guy didn't drop anything. Alright, we want to go get the second secret now. Now we've got our weapons, we can actually go ahead and get the second secret. <coughs> the second and last secret at the level. I can't believe that toe is actually... Now, if, if you end up going in that room, there will be another death trap there. And now we just want to go he crawl under here. A bit of a flush there. Okay. Now we just want to go in here. Go here. We want to go back in the main area again, which we were in earlier. Yeah, so there's enough breath. Now we're gonna go back down again. Well, I'm just gonna show you all how this, uh, the Destiny Eagle actually goes. Cool, you can actually use it while you're doing it. <coughs> Get out of town! I'm Get out of town! I've been the I've done the wrong thing. I'm in the wrong room. Well, at least you now know what the desert does. It desert eagle does. I went the wrong way. I'm supposed to go the other way, which is actually over here where we've got to go. We just want to get pistols back out. I just want to keep the Desert Eagle actually. Now you all know what the Desert Eagle does. Um, we've got plenty of time to get some more ammo for this. For this bear boy. If they didn't take the ammo away by now we should have at least 100 ammo. So I came up here reason. Now we can expose ourselves to him. <clears throat> and this will drop another key card type B. And some more grenades.
The weather should be like this on Christmas. It should be nice and snowy. By now, we should be having snowball fights and whacking each other in the face with them. All right, you want to put the key card in? Come in. Roll. And the grenade launcher's in here. And we need that. <coughs> Now we can put our pistols back out. Now I want to... Whoops. Now we want to save our game because this is where I died earlier and I had to go from the satellite all around this area again. That proves you just how long it took for me to get that far. And then I died and I have to go through it again. Okay. Now we want to roll and we're going to go back in. Woo! <whistles> Should I always have fears of whacking myself on that platform? I don't know why, but why, the, why don't the pistols just actually get fly out of the holsters? <clears throat> oh my god, it's only Christmas Eve tomorrow. I'm so excited. Oh, this will be our Christmas special, actually. So for those people who wanted to look for a Christmas special, this is the one because I'm not going to upload another video until after Christmas. Um, I apologise, but I'm spending that time getting my plans ready for area 51 and figure out and get myself ready to get it completed and figure out how to get through it super easily the high security combat isn't as actually as hard as i thought i thought it would be quite really really hard that i make loads and loads of mistakes but it's actually not that bad all right now we're here we want to come here you can jump up here if you want well, it's a bit of a bug isn't it that should be climbable but it is anyways what the hell by the time you get up here, it's going to activate this crane. And we want to grab here, and we want to go across. And there's a small med pack on the other side. We're near almost done, people. All subs. Uh, don't worry, I have a message for all the subs. Um, I'm starting a little group on Steam. It's going to have its own YouTube channel, its own email, and of course its, its own Steam group as well. So, it should be good. Those of you who want to join, um... Just feel free to go ahead and recommend it to others if you find it enjoyable. What the fuck? How can he get me when I'm over here? Let's get this out because he these just gets rid of my health too rapidly. Oops. Got him. She didn't even die. Well, at least we saved back from the um. Uh, what was it? At least we saved back at the secret, though. We don't have to go all the way throughout the satellite bit again. That way, that's when I start to feel lucky. I've used up three hundred and three megabytes of data already. Have I? Kilobytes, megabytes. What? Well, yeah, megabytes. You see, what I do after my YouTube videos, once they're uploaded, I then go ahead and remove them so I have enough space on my phone to go ahead and record another video. <coughs> Which is not a bad plan, actually. Now, this level's going to be a bit non-edited at the moment. Alright, we're almost completed. We don't. I don't see any reason why. 
I cannot believe when I jumped and grabbed on that crane that it just killed me. That is so unfair. Why did you have to do that to me? You're so mean. At least we don't have to go all the way back around. So in Tomb Raider, you can actually last a level, at least a whole, nearly a whole level, without having to um, use the weapons. You could just go ahead and find people wandering around the street, mooning, and ask them to go ahead and punch a guy in the face for you and get a free, and get a free card, free, free subway for life. That'd be actually quite a good deal, actually. You go ahead. And, Find someone who's mooning, ask them to go ahead and kill it for them, and then you'll get a free Subway for Life card. Extraordinary! No, not really. I'm, um, I'm just joking. Those who have free Subway for Life cards, which I think could be a bit unlucky, no offence. I'm not being racist to those people. Okay. Now we're going to go over here. Um, this time I think I might skip the small med pack. Um, we don't actually need it as much. Actually, we'll go now. We don't don't worry about it. We'll leave the med pack. We don't actually. That's just in case if you need it. But we're just gonna skip that. Mm. This time we can actually use the desert eagle again and kill the guy that reserved an air space for us. Let's go and get our desert eagle out, and hopefully don't die again. Yippee ki yay! Whoops! Whoops! Gotcha! All right, this time I'll remember to go the other way. Up here. Uh, we need to collect what he dropped because it's another security pass. I think it's yellow, isn't it? Or is it? Yep, it's skin. Another yellow. I don't know where to put yellow security passes there. Let's say crystal. Uh, we actually have. How many have we got? One, and that's all we actually need to get through the rest of, to get through the remainder and actually finish off the level. <laughs> you can just fall down if you want, but you'll take a hell of a lot of damage from down there. Trust me, everyone, I'm serious. It's a lot, it's a long way down. So I even use. I've used 1.5 med packs. So if you use um, a small med pack, it counts as half a full because a large med pack counts as one whole. Then get our pistols back out again. And there we go. And we get our pistols out because I think there's another person out here we got to kill. Drop anything? No. And now what we want to do is we want to go to the back of an open van to end the level. And the open van is in here. We want to go up here now. In there. Doesn't matter how much health we've lost, it doesn't matter, it'll be the end of the level anyway. And does drop anything? We go in here. And we end the level, but this one's got an ending cutscene. What's he? What does she find in there? A cookie? Mm -hmm, I'm thirsty. I want something to drink. Hmm. 
Hmm, what's here? Ooh, Coke. What the hell's going on? Whoa! Oof. Now time for another adventure. Where are we going? Where are we going? Are we at 51? If we are, I'm in heaven. Buy the new Coca-Cola today. Pass a free check to Area 51. That is if that is our next level. Okay, and there we go. Um, 39 minutes, 26 seconds, all two secrets found. 14 kills, 366 arrow used. 322 hits, um, 1.5 med packs used, and 4.65 kilometer travel. Alright, everyone, um, that's going to end the level, and unfortunately, there'll be no more videos until after Christmas. So, sorry, but I'll see you all later. I'll see you after Christmas. Bye.